What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we are taking a look at a new pair of rubber boots by a company called Drycode, who you may have never heard of. But I think you're going to be surprised at how great these boots are. If you stay till the end, I'll give you a discount code where you can save 20% off of these boots or any of their products for a limited time. So we got another big box for doing another review. Uh, these are the Dry Code five millimeter hunting boots. Um, so I was totally unfamiliar with this brand, but uh, you know, through the wonderful uh, community of YouTube, uh, Dry Code stumbled upon a lot of my work, and they reached out to me and said, "Hey, we make hunting boots, we make waders. Um, we'd like to send you a pair." and have you test them out and do a review on them. I said, sure, I will do that, but you're not gonna see the review uh, before the rest of the world. And they were like, okay, that sounds cool. So anyways, uh, I was actually in need of a new pair of hunting boots. So I thought, hey, why not? So full disclosure, there you go. I didn't pay for these, but um, they're not gonna see this review before the rest of the world does. So uh, let's check these things out. Um, they were really quick to ship, too. I mean, this all went down in a matter of a week uh, from them reaching out to me and then sending them. So they sent me their um, camo boots. I got two different camo patterns, and I got my little tablet here as a cheat sheet. Sorry about this. Um, so they come in two patterns. They've got a reed grass camo and a real reed camo. They sent me the ones in real reed. I didn't told them I didn't care uh, what camo they sent. And uh, so here is one of the two boots. The other one looks the same. So anyways, uh, but these per the specs are a uh, five millimeter outer layer, or they get an SBR outer layer and five millimeter neoprene and two millimeter breathable layer and diamond shaped breathable layer. So they got a lot of different layers. So anyways, they're a rubber boot, five mil. Um, they're pretty cool. I believe they got a steel shank in them. Yes, they got a steel shank. 100% um, waterproof rubber. Uh, Anti-slip outer sole. Um, I, look like a, a fairly well-built rubber boot. Um, I did take them out of the box earlier just to check them out, and, and but I've not. Uh, I put my feet in them, but I've not worn them yet. So. Um, Looking at these, uh, they got their branding on the back. Uh, they have a, um, a uh, strap here to uh, cinch them down. For those of you, uh, you know, who like your, your boots cinched down on your calf. Um, I like the camo. I like the pattern. Um, you know, fairly aggressive sole. Uh, these are a men's size 11. That is the shoe size that I wear, so I said... I'm just going to go with my size. Um, all seems to be really nice. Um, I like the, the rubber on the back here uh, as far as for trying to, uh, you know, pull them off or what have you. One of the things I thought is kind of cool, I don't know if it's really that big a deal, but uh, the insides of these are bright orange. I'm actually a sucker for the color orange. I don't know why it's my favorite color, but I can see like where in the dark or something like that, um, just that orange contrast color, you know, put them on, take them off, reaching down and getting some out of your boot if something would get down in there or whatever. You can see it beneficial, but you know, as hunters, hunter orange, again, I'm a sucker for orange. So, uh, you know, pretty cool uh, boots. Um, look at the tags they talk about here. Uh, limited warranty uh, warrants this product free of defects and materials and workmanship for one year. So there you go. I did see that they are made in China on the side of the box. It says that. Um, so there you go. Retail price on these, according to their website, is $79.88. So 80 bucks a pair. If they are a really good rubber boot or hold up, that's a heck of a price. Um, you know, so, you know, we're going to see. I'm going to throw them on here a minute and tell you how they fit. I'm going to put two different socks on. 
I'm going to put a regular like athletic sock on one foot. I'm going to put a smart wool sock on the other foot. And we're going to see how they fit. Again, these are size 11s and I wear a size 11. So let's see how true they are. So hold on and I'm get everything repositioned here in my little studio and we'll show what they look like on my feet and I'll give you a commentary on how they fit. All right, so here we go. I've got an athletic sock on my right foot and a smart ball sock on my left foot. Uh, you know, the athletic is what I'd be wearing September through mid-October, smart wool late October, November, on into December here in the Midwest. Um, so I want to see how they fit. Uh, these are, again, a 5 millimeter boot. They don't have a gram rating, but according to their website, they claim that you can wear them down to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. We all know that all based on your insulation. So let's uh, put these on and see how they feel with two different thicknesses of socks. That pops right in. Again, I'm a size 11 and I ordered a size 11. And they both fit actually perfectly. Um, obviously the left, you can, it's not snug at all, but you can, you can feel, uh, you know, it, it's, you can feel the sides a little bit, but it's not tight. Uh, because I am wearing a thicker sock, the right feels very much like a perfectly fitting rubber boot. As I sit here and pick my feet up, my heels don't come out. Um, I can actually feel it's kind of fitted down right in here. And my, my heels are not, I mean, they're lifting maybe a quarter of an inch this on my right foot because I got a regular sock, but definitely not my left. They fit very well. They feel very stable. Um, Looking down on them, the tread is slightly wider than the side profile of the boot, which is nice. A little wider for stability. So, yeah, these are cool. We got these straps. Like, if you really wanted to cinch them down, you could. I don't have the biggest uh, calves in the world, but, uh, you know, I would probably just leave them buckled over but kind of loose. But some guys, you know, really like them uh, cinched down. So, anyways, so, yeah, I guess uh, now... Now we're just at the point of going out in the field and testing these things out for um, several weeks, uh, if not a couple months, and then we'll report back and then that's when we'll release this video. So stay tuned. The dry code boots. So it's been four to five weeks ago since I got these and I did my initial unboxing uh, with them. So here I am. This is going to be my like after a month or so using these things. Uh, how do I feel about them? And let me just start by saying that I have beat the ever living crud out of these things. Um, now, granted, not a whole hunting season, but they've been out checking trail cameras, uh, walking through swamps, walking uh, through food plot areas, standing standing crops. Hunting season's been in for me for about a week or so, so I've been walking back and forth through standing soybeans. I've hunted out of a box blind, tree stand, and uh, a saddle wearing these boots. And what do I want to say about them? They have performed flawlessly, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm very impressed with them. I think for the $80 price tag, you're not going to find a better boot out there, in my opinion. Um, I've owned a lot of the main name brand boots that are out there. And these are as good, in my opinion, if not better than anything, even up in, say, the $150 uh, price range category. Um, honestly, I have this is honest to God truth. 
I've never worn a pair of rubber boots I like more than these. I, I really, really do like them uh, after the month or so I've been using them. Um, again, these are five millimeter. Uh, they've got a steel shank in them, got uh, some great off-road traction on the bottom of these things. You can go four-wheel driving with these uh, and some nasty stuff. Um, I, I, actually, in the dark, I really appreciated that orange lining uh, when it came to putting them on, uh, being able to see stuff down in there. Uh, walking through the beans, you get beans and leaves and stuff drop in there. I can pull them off and I can actually see uh, you know, the contrast of what's down in the boot. So I did like that a lot. Um, you know, one problem that, that rubber boots tend to have is a lot of them are big around the ankles and when you walk, your, your foot lifts out or if you would step in mud, your foot wants to pull out of the boot. That is not an issue with these. These fit me uh, very well. I wear a size 11 and these fit uh, true to form with athletic socks and even some warm socks. Um, this morning, for example, I was hunting, it was 50 degrees. My feet never got cold. Could you hunt in these below freezing temps? You probably could. It would probably take a lot of socks to do it. Uh, let's be honest, it's probably not the best boot for sub freezing temperatures. Um, but uh, anyways, I really think that this is an ideal boot for that uh, 40 degree through maybe 70 degree range. Once you get over 70, being, these being a five millimeter, they do get a little bit warm and I warm quite a bit in 70 to 80 degree weather. Um, but overall, very, very happy with them. Do I have any complaints with them? Not really. Um, if I want to be real nitpicky, this exposed gray neoprene up here picks up burrs. Um, we call them uh, tag longs or some people call them beggar's lice. You know, those real annoying things that attach to everything. But that's not a dry coat uh, fault. Uh, I own many rubber, rubber boots that are neoprene, the entire upper, and it does it to them. The only way to avoid that would be have it all rubber all the way up to the top. Um, so that is what it is. Uh, if I There's nothing really to complain about it, but this is the nature of a camouflage printed boot. As you can see that the camouflage tends to wear off when you're walking through tall things like grass, or in my case, traversing through a uh, soybean field uh, in and out to hunt. Um, it's really not too severe, but it is starting to wear off on the toes. But this happens on all camouflage printed boots. You will see this over time. It wears off on the toes and up the, the uh, shins. It's just the nature of printing camouflage on the rubber. So if you want to avoid that, you know, get the browns or the blacks or the green colors or what have you. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is just an awesome, awesome boot. Uh, you can uh, get these. Their website is drycodeusa.com or they have an Amazon store. And right now it's uh, September 21st, I believe in 2022 and for the foreseeable future i don't know how long it's going to go they've got a 20 percent off discount code of all their stuff and they make uh kids boots women's boots men's boots say different colors and camouflage options and they got a couple different uh kids and men's uh size waiter options probably women's too i'd have to go check but they have waiters uh as well and so they get this 20 percent diff discount code you can get off of anything. So if you're in need before hunting season start here, a new pair of rubber boots or a new pair of waders to go duck hunting or goose hunting or whatever, jump on because that's a pretty darn good deal. At 80 bucks and then a 20% discount off of that, it's what, $16 or so off of that. You know, I'm sure there's shipping or whatever, but you do the math. That's a heck of a buy right there. So again, I cannot recommend these enough i've been very impressed with them uh i think they're a great product and definitely a great product for the price point so check them out at uh, drycodeusa.com or their amazon store and uh, get you some boots or waders before seasons get here as always god bless stay safe and it's a new day in the outdoors